So we're back with another gameplay commentary. This time it's going to be on the newly released Tier 5 Italian cruiser, the Monte Cucullo. God, I've been practicing how to say that for so long. Um, so this ship's just been released. It's part of the Italian cruiser line. I think it'll, I think it'll be freely available next patch. Or you can get it this patch. Um, if you get a combat mission from the Italian cr um, crates that drop. So, I've only had a couple of games ex of experience in the ship, and um, let me tell you, it's 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 not all that great. It it really isn't. And the reason it's not that great is because well, there's two things really. There's there's the smoke that you can see here at the bottom of my screen it looks a little bit different than traditional smoke. And there's the Super AP, which is the main sticking point. Now there is other little minor factors about this ship that doesn't make it great per se, but these are the two main ones. Perhaps the SAP being more important than the smoke. So the smoke is basically, it keeps you undetected while moving at full speed for around 9 seconds I think. But then once it gets set, after those 9 seconds it goes away, which is a bit bizarre but um, it is what it is and then there's obviously the new ammo type um, super AP shells these are shells that they cannot ricochet or they can't um, overpen or they can't shatter they just do no damage they do penetrate certain a certain threshold of armor I think on this ship is uh, 42 millimeters I think and if they do, they do slightly more damage than uh, AP shells. And then you always obviously have your uh, traditional AP shells, pretty standard. The thing is, is that in the the game stuff as it is, it's very HE spammy. And for me, the super AP shells just seem. I'm calling them super AP. I don't know know if they're actually called super AP, um, but they are SAP. For me, they just seem like a really kind of nerfed version of HE shells. Because you can set fires. You can't do that constant tick a tick tick of damage. As you can with um as you can with traditional HE shells. And uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure how you fix this, because it's 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 more of a game wide problem. Also when you tie into the fact that we get okay damage when you tie into the fact that if you were to say boost the reload or um, or make it make the rudder ships better in this ship which it kind of needs it it doesn't fix the problem you basically just created another Royal Navy cruiser um, with two types of ammo than than one that being said, I don't think, I think a game state exists where this ship could be useful. It's just not in this current game state. The HE spam is just too important. Like, I, I can't think of a single reason why you'd pick this ship over another one, to be honest. Um, or this line, basically, over another, another line. Um, I mean, I played Royal Navy Cruisers the most, and I've and played Russian uh, Cruisers. Surprisingly enough, it handles very similar to Russian cruisers, like the Shores and the Benoy. And, I don't know. Like, if you were to tell me you were going to take a Russian cruiser, like a Benoy or a Shores, and remove their HE, <laughs> and you're and you're going to replace it with, like, a kind of gimmicky kind of AP variant? No, it, it almost ruins the ship, and this is, this is kind of similar to that. Um, <coughs> that being said, though, the top speed is quite good. It is um, 38.9 knots, I think, at stock. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm desperately trying to find other things to, to complement on this ship, though. I mean, if you if you can get in the right position, obviously, you can do damage with this ship. I mean, it isn't the tankiest. Obviously, there you, can, you took 2k from just... One shell. It isn't the tankiest, but 
if you if you position well enough, you can do consistent damage. And there there is situations where you can do damage with AP shells, where you wouldn't otherwise, or with SAP shells, where you wouldn't actually otherwise do them with um, AP shells. It just doesn't fit into the the current kind of meta of the game, where everything is so reliant on HE. And everything's about volume, volume, volume over actual accuracy. Now this ship has a reload, I think, of 14... Ooh, thanks. That was a bit of a big one. It has a reload of about 14 uh, seconds. <laughs> Which, I mean, talk about kicking a dog when it's down. It, it's not all that great, because... I don't know, like... When you're playing such a squishy ship, which is such a slow... Well, I suppose the rudder ship isn't terrible, but with such a vulnerable... It's just so vulnerable. It just, it just, it's, it's very hard for me to put into words how this feels playing it. Like, and <laughs> just, look, just look at this picture on the screen right now. I have to chase into a Byron and a Perth to enable myself to do damage. And I have to, res I have to just rely on being able to being able to open over shells to consistently do damage on this ship. That should tell you all you need to know. I mean, it's ridiculous. And I haven't even gotten to the part about the smoke. They give you one charge of a 9 second smoke that covers you for about 9 seconds when you're going at full speed. I mean, like, what? I don't know if there's like noob protection or not, but when obviously when you're running in, certain players, let's say, would run in at the start of the game, and then they would turn out, and they expose their full broadside and die, because they're getting shelled by 15 different ships, and they forgot to be, they completely forgot about positioning, as we take out the Perth. That doesn't really, that can't really happen anymore in this ship, because you can just pop that smoke, turn full broadside. Obviously, a really good player would would probably be able to pinpoint you and do significant damage. Maybe not completely destroy you, but they would be able to um, uh, nail you s somewhat. But yeah, it just seems another gimmicky aspect of this ship and this line, which honestly, I had much higher hopes for. I really did. And I don't know if it's a bit of my disdain for light cruisers creeping in. Um, but but then I think when I compare this to like Royal Navy cruisers, there there is just no comparison. You you can't compare them. Completely different ships. One definitely superior to the other. And again, my ma my opinion may change over the um, when I play the ship a little bit more, but. As it stands, it's 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 not that great. It really isn't. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm just completely nagging because it's um. I started drone on a bit, but I j I just had higher hopes, honestly. There's several games in the ship where I do 10k damage because I try and actually do damage to the enemy team. And it's it's horrific. There's literally 11.3 detection range on this ship. No, wait, it's 11.6, but I have a camo on. It's mind blowing to me the amount of bad characteristics this ship has. Unbelievable. But yet, here we are. Playing the ship. But the game turned out pretty well, though. That's been said. We got like 59k damage, which I, for tier 5, I don't think is too bad. Too bad. Or terrible, but... Overall, definitely not impressed by this ship. Hopefully, maybe it'll improve going higher up the tiers. As they throw a little celebratory wiggle. But, um... Yeah, not not really impressed by the first the first ship. So with that, it's GG boys.